Hello guys, welcome back to another Genshin video. So as you may know, the Misty Dungeon event has been out for a few days, but this event is really good for free to play players or low spenders because there's so many characters you can actually try out in this event. If you press character preview, these are all the characters you get to try out. You get to try out Ayaka, Mona, Diana, Barbara, all these characters you can try out in this event. Now this event gives a crap ton of Parma gems and really good rewards and it's a very fun to test out many characters but you should really do it now especially since the last part of the event just came out. So if we go all the way down here to the Light Winger trial and then go to go to challenge you can use all the characters that are also in the rest of the other challengers in one team and you can test out so many combinations. Now this is actually great for free to play players and low spenders because now you can choose who you want to save up for the rerun and you can choose who you want to build in the future. For example, if you ended up skipping Ayaka or just missed out and you wanted to know if she's actually fun or not, now you can use her in a good team like for example you could put her in a Ayaka, Mona, Diona, Sukos team for the permafreeze teams. You could also want Kazaha for example if you did also skip him and want to see if he's actually fun, you can use your Emiya and all these other 4 star characters, you can test them out and play with them and see if you actually like them if you want to build them as well. In all these other challenges, you only get to use a certain amount of all these characters. So you can't use them all at the same time and make your own combinations. But luckily due to this last one, you can use all of them and just have crazy combinations and use whoever you want. Now this event is really cool. So I'm just going to go through it real quick. Just to show you guys the combinations you can do. And make sure you do play this event to see out who you like, who you think is fun. So you can actually save up your Prime Gems in advance or use your resources right now on 4 star characters or 5 star characters you might already have. And you just haven't thought about building because you weren't sure if they were worth it. So for this challenge I'm actually going to be running Yoimiya, Fischl, Kazuha, and let's go with a healer. Let's go with Diana. I think this would be a good team. So I'm just going to go throughout this entire thing. If you don't already know what the Misty Dungeon event is, you start up these little totems and you start getting people you have to fight. And you start basically just fighting kids. You use the teams that you picked out and start fighting people. And then you just have some fun. I actually chose Yoimiya because I did like Yoimiya a lot. But I just didn't really like her gameplay. But maybe it'll change now that I got some characters that I actually get to choose who to play with. And also, thanks to this new event, I also realized how much I messed up by skipping Kaza. He is literally the most fun character in the game, I swear. It also showed me how much I absolutely hate Kujo Sora. But anyway. Also, throughout this entire event, they seem to give the characters very free-to-play friendly builds. Like, they don't give them extreme 5-star weapons or anything. Like, for example, they gave Yoimiya the Rust. They gave Fischl the Favonius Warbur, which everyone gets. They give Kazaha the Sacrificial Sword, which is pretty easy to get if you get lucky with Gacha. Some people don't have it by now, and all I have to say to that is... Dang. And they even give Dion another Favonius Warbow, so... It's not like they overcrack the characters a whole lot. Even with the ratios, 40%, 154, that's a pretty average ratio, and a pretty good one. It's not like overly cracked or anything. 57, 91... 26, 91, 26, 91, but they did give a crack that energy recharge though. <laughs> I also noticed it on all the other characters too. They gave Eula the Stone Team Star Silver, they gave Raiden the Catch, like they're not giving them extremely good 5 star weapons. So this is literally a really good comparison on what you should averagely see with the team if you do more for them. So that's what I like about this event and why I think this event is so good for free to play players and low spenders. It gives you a, literally a good expectation of what the characters will do for your account and how good or fun they will be. And then they just let you play with them. So if you haven't done this event and you just don't know that it's out or you just don't know if you're interested, I highly recommend you do this event because this event is really one of the best events to prepare you for the future, for future reruns. Or characters that you already have in your account right now and you just haven't built them because you don't know what to put on them or if they're going to be worth it for your account. And also for Kazuha, they did give him the Sacrificial Sword but if you just won the Iron Sting which is free to use and easy to build because you just go to the blacksmith, he's going to be way better than this. So if you use Kazuha in here, expect a better Kazuha from your own account. Think you can bully me? And ba 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 switch off Yoimiya. Oh, can I? Oh, I can actually glide and then do that. I don't know you could do that. Okay, that's actually pretty cool. 
and now we're gonna go to the final challenge down here. Oh, of course they're Pyro. This game sucks. So I'm just gonna murder the rest of these kids, and I'll be right back with you guys in a second. And there we go, challenge completed, leave the domain. So yeah, basically, this last part of it is really good chance for you guys to test out all the characters that you want to test out. I really recommend you do this. I will say, it does kind of suck that they gave this event after Albedo and Eula came out, and then they're going to give us Eula and Albedo before anyone really got to test them out with their own team combinations, kind of like in this event. So it kind of sucks for all here, to be honest. They should have came out with this event before Albedo and Eula went away to give more of a chance for people to use those characters and see if they like them, but oh well. Anyway, that's pretty much all for this video. I really just wanted to tell you guys to do this event as soon as possible and do this last part of the event because you get a chance to use all these combinations of characters. Maybe you have Child or Mr. of E1 and you want to use Child to see if he really is worth it. You can use Child. You can use Raiden in preparation for her V1. Kazaha for his V1. Yomiya for hers. And all these other 4-star characters that you could likely have and you just haven't built yet. And this event gives tons of awards as well. So anyway, that's pretty much all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to do this event, as I said like 17 times in this video at this point. Use these characters, see who you want to level up, who you want to save up for. And that's basically all. I'll see you guys in the next video. Ha ba ba.